Hello and welcome to another basketball edition of the Adrian Ross show. So much going on today. So much uh, response to the news that Stephanie White is now the head coach for the Indiana Fever. And as I said in the video I put out earlier, we'll get into all that. Uh, tonight, I'm going to go live at some point, keep your notifications on, and we're going to talk about a number of things during that live. But for now, I just want to insert something because I want to go on the record as saying something. And then we're going to get back to focusing on uh, the live tonight and, and that whole news. But I want to go on record concerning Alyssa Smith. If I were a part of the Indiana Fever franchise, and making decisions. I don't mean a player, but I mean someone who's uh, the president, the GM, the coach, all those discussions that go on. I'm not bringing Nalissa Smith back to the team. I'm finding a way to move her on to happier pastures. Adrian, why are you so tough on her? Why, why do you feel like that? Why not give her a chance? And I'll say this, if this organization chooses to keep her, I'm going to root for Nalissa Smith, just like I would root for any person suited up in a fever jersey. I know that there are people who would say, she's young, she needs to learn. And when I say that, I'm not talking about basketball. That's one thing that needs to be shored up for sure, particularly with this team where they're going to run and they're going to gun. You're going to have to be able to do that. And also, I mean, a lot of stuff missed around the basket and things like that. Okay, those are things that everybody has to work on their game. So I'm not even talking about that part. I'm talking about her tendency to be led, to use an expression from To Kill a Mockingbird, to be led by the nose as asses are. And in this case, I'm talking about how susceptible she is to the influence of Dijonay Carrington. Where I draw the line is when you, one thing, okay, one thing for you to get on there and, and just run your mouth on social media a little bit. And Dijonay said, you know, see what happens when my babe or whatever gets, gets ball touches. And then Nalissa comes on and says, yeah, it was good while it lasted. That's annoying and that's unacceptable. And if I'm setting the culture of this team, I'm saying, you don't do that, it stops. What I have a major problem with is that she and Dijonay, after the season ended, after Connecticut season ended, got on and uh, social media and posted a video joking about the eye gouge of Caitlin Clark. If this is my team, that is absolutely something I will not tolerate. And frankly, I don't believe I would overlook it. Now I said again, she's young and she was frustrated with Christy size for sure. And apparently under the thumb of DJ Day Carrington. So maybe this organization will be more merciful than I would be, extend more grace, say she's young, she's not, she's not that, I mean, she's not Caitlin Clark's age. I don't know how she was. She's like 25. Uh, I don't want to be like Cheryl Swoop. So I'm not saying definitely that she's that age. I'm saying, I don't know how old she is, but she's definitely older than Caitlin, right? She's been in the league for a few years. Uh, but anyway, they might say, well, she's young and there was Christy Sides. She didn't like the way Christy Sides was handling her. She didn't like when she was brought off the bench and all that. And so they may overlook that. I'm not, I'm not even suggesting that they won't. What I'm saying is that I wouldn't extend that much grace to her because once you make fun of an injury of a player on your team, that's where we have to say, this isn't going to work. This can't happen. You don't understand what you just did. Real quick, please. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. You poked me in the eye. You did. I did not poke did you. Did you do it on purpose? I did not poke you. And that was, if you don't realize that was a skit, I don't know what to tell you. It was a skit. And she played along with the skit. 
and somehow thought it was funny and they laughed about it because there's a commitment there. There's whatever with Dijanae Carrington. And it seems like where she's concerned, Alyssa Smith can't think straight. I don't know where Dijanae is going to be next year. I hear some people saying, oh, we hope Stephanie White brings Dijanae. Most people say, I hope she, <laughs> we don't want that. But I have seen a couple of comments where people have said, you, we could use that defense. I say, no, you can't. That I'm not, I wouldn't even be toying with that idea. You can find somebody else who can play good defense. Dijanae doesn't get to come to the Indiana Fever if I have anything to say about it, which of course I don't. But where Nelissa Smith is concerned, look, Dijanae going to do Dijanae. She's not Caitlin Clark's teammate. She's got a problem with Caitlin Clark's privilege. She's got issues with Caitlin Clark, as do some other people in the league. Thankfully, that's not everyone in the league because we see that there are people who do want to come, free agents, who are like, I look forward to an opportunity to work with Caitlin, uh, to play with Caitlin. I love to play with Caitlin. So we do know that that's there. The DNA of the league, the culture of the league has a whole different mindset about Caitlin Clark, and we know all about that. But when you are a teammate and you are somehow not mature enough to know that that should never, that is the ultimate betrayal of your team to play along. Her eye was gouged. And even if Dijanae is telling the truth and it wasn't on purpose, even if that were the case, even if I believed that from the beginning, I certainly didn't believe it after you joked about it. That's for sure. And even if it were the truth and I did believe it, I just, I, I, I would think that you would be too concerned about how what happened than to joke about it. Again, Dijanae can do whatever Dijanae does, but Caitlin Clark is your teammate and there's zero tolerance for what Nalissa Smith did. Not to mention she, for, I didn't go, I didn't see it because I don't hang out on these players' social media uh, pages, but word is that she removed the Indiana Fever from her ex account. And then on after Sunday or on Sunday, when Christy Sides was let go, then the Indiana Fever came back on there. So she had a problem with, uh, with, Christy sides, which we could tell anyway. Number one, you took it off. So that says something, but you, you know, it's a free country. You do, you know, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. I'm not going to start saying, you know, oh my goodness, you're, you put, you took Indiana fever off your social media. Although I do think it was indicative of something. That's not the deal breaker really. But now you put it back. Now it's back. If it was off, it's back now. Cause I went and checked. Okay, so again, I heard it was back after they let go Christy Sides. To me, that doesn't do the trick. Taking it off is not necessarily a deal breaker, meaning you have to go. And you know what? Putting it back on doesn't mean we want you here because what you did in that skit, the way you behaved, the, the way you seemed divided in your loyalty is a problem. Not to mention you weren't performing on the court. So there's that too. So I'm just saying, I don't know what they're going to do. They might extend incredible grace to her. I'm not going to hate on them if they do. I'm just saying, I'm going on record as saying, if I were in leadership, I would cut ties with Melissa Smith. What do you think about that? Am I being too hard on her? Should we say, you know what? It's a new season. Let everybody start new. I just told you what I think. What do you think? Talk about it in the comments. Remember, I am going live tonight. Make sure you are tuned in for that. We're going to have a bit of a conversation, mm, little celebration even. And some of you who don't feel like celebrating, maybe you will by the time we get going in our conversation tonight. Keep your notifications on. I'll catch you next time, God willing. God bless you abundantly.